Hi, Mike here from Supreme Gadgets. Hope you're all having a great day. Now today, I've got an unboxing of the standard iPhone 6. Now this is in fact my brother's phone. Um, he's actually just got it on a contract and he's actually let me have a look at it and unbox it first before he actually gets his whole set up himself. So that's very good of him. So without further ado, let's have a look at the packaging. Now in comparison to the iPhone 6 Plus, which I have, the packaging is very, very similar. Still got the iPhone branding on the sides, nothing on the top or bottom. The slightly embossed iPhone 6 design on the front and then just some technical information on the back. And this is the 64 gigabyte version that he's got. Now if we compare it in size to the iPhone 6 Plus box, which is here. Uh, we can see the iPhone 6 Plus box is a bit taller and is a little bit wider as well. If I just uh, pop that there, you can see the width of it. It's the same height, okay, because obviously all the same contents in the box. It's a little bit um, narrower the iPhone 6 box to compare to the Plus and obviously a little bit smaller as well in height. So I'll pop that to one side and bring back the iPhone 6 box and I'll get it unboxed. So just make sure I don't actually drop this on the floor. I'm sure my brother wouldn't be very happy if I'd done that. But they are very tough boxes to actually get into. Okay, so I'll just pop that to one side. So Packaged virtually the same as the iPhone 6 Plus. Well, in actual fact, exactly the same. The only difference is, is you get the smaller phone. So lift, lift, lift this little flap here, and then this is the actual phone itself. As you can see, all the plastic's still on it. My brother's left that on uh, while I do the actual unboxing. The camera is slightly different on the iPhone 6. It's not the um, opti optimal optical image stabilization, it's digital. But other than that, they are pretty much the same in te um, tech specs, really. So just lay that to one side at the moment. And then in the box is exactly the same as what you get with the iPhone 6 Plus. So you get the same information packet with the little information sheet, warranty information, and the usual Apple stickers as well. And the Simajet tool there, this Nano Simajet tool. You also get the three pin UK plug, some earbuds, and the actual lightning connector as well, USB to lightning connector there. So all that is exactly the same in both models of the iPhone. Pop all that back in the box for my brother. And then just have another look at the actual phone. And I'll bring my iPhone 6 Plus into view just to give a comparison of the size. So as we can see from here, the iPhone 6 Plus, if I just make sure the bottoms are on the level, the iPhone 6 Plus is a bit taller. And in fact, it is a bit wider. Not as really a great deal of difference in the width. It's just a little finger width difference there, but it's more like a thumbs width difference at the top. The thickness of the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus is slightly different. The iPhone 6 Plus is slightly thicker, but very, very minimalist, minimal thicker. Other than that, they look identical in the actual features on the phone. So the, uh, the sides, we've got the same lock, uh, mute lock switch there. We've got the volume up and down rockers. On that side we've got the power button which is moved onto the side on both. On the bottom we've got the lightning cable connector and the three millimeter headphone jack as well. On the top we've got nothing at all. And the backs exactly the same obviously with the iPhone 6 Plus being the bigger one. So if I just turn them on now, okay, just pop that onto with my Touch ID and do the same with my brothers. As you can see, my brother hasn't set anything up yet. He has had a quick look at the phone, but that is all. Okay, oops, 
just uh, go out of those apps there and just have a quick look at the speed tests. Yeah, they're virtually, or oh, they are exactly the same with the speed tests. In actual fact, doing that, it looks like it's going from one screen to the other. So the smoothness of them is the same. They are both identical in power and they're still, they're both as responsive as each other. So that really is the actual difference. The, the main difference is the size plus a few extra features on the iPhone 6 Plus. The, one of the other main ones that I quite like about the 6 Plus is the fact that when you actually do that, put it in landscape mode, you get landscape view. If you do the same with the iPhone 6, nothing happens. So it's the same as the previous iPhones. They just stay like that. So the actual landscape view on the iPhone 6 Plus is better because it's got that higher resolution screen. It's got more space on it so it can fit more. For instance, if you're going into the messages app or the emails, you've got two side pieces, a side piece where like all the content to be mail is and on the right hand side, you've got the actual mail, con the actual contents of individual mails. So the iPhone 6 doesn't actually do that. It's more like the iPhone 5 really in that comparison. Okay, so that is the little comparison I'm doing today. What I'll do is I'll let my brother have this phone back now so he can set it all up himself and get it all uh, restored from back up from his old iPhone 5. And that's about it for me. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all again next time. Well, thanks for stopping by and checking out our video. If you liked it, be sure to give it that thumbs up and you can always leave a comment below to let us know what you thought as well. Be sure to subscribe, that way you get kept up to date with all our brand new videos as soon as they're released. Check out our blog by clicking this button over here. And you can always follow us on Twitter and Facebook too, at Supreme Gadgets. Also, if you want to watch another of our videos, click on it, right here. You sure can't tempt me? Go on, click on it. Alright then, we'll see you next time, bye for now.